Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to assemble Re3D's wind-up car. We're going to start with all of these parts here. We've got four wheels, a gear system, a few axles, and a chassis. The work we're going to do is from the back of the car to the front. So we'll start with the rear axle, which is oval shaped. We'll put it through one side of the, of the back hole of the car. We'll take the gear with the oval shaped hole and put it between the chassis and the holes. Slide that axle onto the gear and push it out the other side. We're gonna take the next gear with the circular shaped hole and this small attachment, put it through the next hole and out the other side. We're gonna add the small cap here and then we're going to add the back tires one on each side and then the caps for the tires These caps are press fit caps and when they're on your wheels and your gears should spin pretty freely. Next we're going to move on to the gear system. We're going to take this gear, make sure the small side is facing me, take this stick and push it through the hole and not all the way through. Then I'm going to take the spring Put this side of the spring through that same, and then attach the cap to secure it. Next gear is this one right here. Slides in between the gear and the spring, and then I'm going to put the crank through the spring. Sometimes you have to turn to get it through all the way. Should come out the other side, just like that. Last thing is the front axle with a tire through the hole, both sides, attach the other, and a cap. Now I just want to make sure that everything operates pretty freely. When I wind up and release, you're turning that spring into energy for the gears. The last thing I'm going to do is take two rubber bands and wrap them around the rear wheels to give it a little traction. And you're ready to go. Just wind it up and let it go.